excision of submandibular, submaxillary, gland. The physician removes a diseased, infected, blocked, or injured submandibular gland. The physician makes an incision in the skin of the neck below the inferior border of the mandible and near the angle of the mandible. The underlying tissues are dissected to the submandibular gland. The gland is exposed, freed from the surrounding tissue, and removed. The incision is closed with sutures. Excision of sublingual gland The physician removes a diseased, infected, blocked, or injured sublingual gland. The physician makes an intraoral incision in the mucosa overlying the gland. Tissues are dissected down to the gland. The gland is exposed, freed from surrounding tissue, and removed. The incision is closed with sutures. Excision of bulbarethral gland, Cooper's gland. The physician excises a bulbarethral gland. A bulbarethral gland is located on each side of the prostate gland near the external sphincter and is connected to the urethra with a 1 inch duct. The gland secretes what becomes part of the seminal fluid. The physician completes this procedure through transurethral or segmental resection with end to end sutures, anastomosis. Excision of cyst or adenoma of thyroid, or transection of isthmus. The physician removes a cyst or adenoma from a thyroid, or transects the isthmus. The physician exposes the thyroid via a transverse cervical incision in the skin line. The platyus mase is divided and the strap muscles separated in the midline. The thyroid mass is identified. Blood supply to and from the lesion is controlled and the mass is locally excised. The skin and platy SMAs are closed. Excision or fulguration, urethral polyp, S, distal urethra, urethral caruncle, skein's glands, urethral prolapse. In a female, the physician separates the urethra from the vaginal wall. The urethra is incised. A circular excision is made around the lesion and the targeted tissue is resected. The urethra and vaginal mucosa are reattached in layers. In a male, the physician uses a transurethral approach to similarly excise the defect. Excision of lacrimal gland, dacryotinectomy, except for tumor, total, partial. The lacrimal system serves to keep the conjunctiva and cornea moist through the production, distribution, and elimination of tears. The tears are produced in the lacrimal gland. The physician makes an incision beneath the superior orbital rim or in the lid crease of the upper lid. The incision is extended to the periosteum overlying the bone of the supraorbital rim. A periosteal elevator is used to isolate and dissect the lacrimal gland from its position in the lacrimal fossa. The wound is repaired with layered sutures. <laughs>